Previously on In Transit, we started our journey down the Mississippi River from Lake Itasca and paddled three days to the town of Bemidji. Day four marks the beginning of a long series of interconnecting lakes, the first being Lake Bemidji. Up until this point, the river has been narrow. Though there hasn't been much current, there still has been some. This will be our first experience on wide bodies of water. Oh, it's calm today. Paddling on such a large body of water is very difficult. It's hard to tell if you're even moving forward. Not knowing where the river connected, we found ourselves paddling through a large maze of lake grass. This point that we're at right now is the most northern point on the Mississippi River, and then we go south. It's a bizarre feeling to have been paddling north for almost four days. To know we're heading south is a relief. This is gonna be a long trip. In between the lakes, we hit our first dam. Portaging, or as the Canadians and some northern Minnesotans like to pronounce it, portaging, is something we're going to have to get used to, because the upper part of the river is littered with many dams. we're doing this because we don't want to go down that so we're portaging our canoes over this way so we just went through stump lake to our first official portage around beaver tail dam which is what you see behind me we took our canoes around and it took about 15 minutes and now we're ready to get back on the river after having successfully completed our first portage we came in contact with some recreational boat traffic Careful. whoa whoa on to Andruja Lake. As we were leaving Andruja Lake, we saw some local kids jumping off a bridge. So we decided to take a break from paddling to join in on the fun. I jumped, Paul jumped, and of course, Tony had to one-up us. Next on the list of lakes is Cass Lake, our last lake for the day. Looks like everyone's running from the rain. It wasn't the rain they were running from, it was the giant thunderstorm that was about to land right on top of us. After hearing many conflicting theories on how boats and large bodies of water and lightning interact, we decided not to take any chances. Rain dance! Luckily we found shelter from the storm at a nearby restaurant, and we found something else. Pizza. Pizza, this is a good idea guys. <laughs> All right, take it. Lots of pizza. <laughs> We began to think that it was no accident that we found pizza at the only open restaurant during the storm. Our journey and pizza have been serendipitously intertwined. We believe that pizza has been consistently bringing us good fortune. And in order to keep that good fortune, we decided to officially name my canoe, The Pizza Ship. After having weathered the storm, we crossed Cass Lake and end the day at Newtson Dam. Apparently, we crashed a mosquito party. Seriously, there were lots of mosquitoes. So many mosquitoes, it made it impossible to be outside of our tents. I just want to get out of this mosquito-infested campsite. All right, let's go. When we hit Lake Winnebagashish, we found out that my brothers had named their boat too. They called it Techno Boat. Nature is not enough for my older brother Paul. He has to put on his iPod headphones <laughs> and listen to electronic music. Maybe, maybe some rain. Lake Winnebagashish is roughly 13 miles wide and is by far the largest lake on the Mississippi River. It's generally advised to stick to the shoreline, but because we have good weather on our side, we risk it and go straight across. If you look all the way behind me, way back there where you see the tree line, that's where we came from. And we've been out in the water for a very long time and it's extremely hot. Uh, yeah. 
quick. Uh, yeah, After paddling for almost good. four and a half hours in the hot sun, we finally made it. We are done with Lake Winnebagashish. I will not miss this place. So yeah, I say, do you want to just do the next campsite? Yeah. Should we start doing something? Mm -mm. Okay. We now have to take our stuff out of the boat, portage it over the bridge. Unfortunately, it's not the most convenient portage. It's not marked and it's just kind of rough over roads. So it's not like clean like the other last one. Got it. But. Okay, both ways. Check. Okay. We finished our portage, now we're heading further down south, Mississippi. After paddling 31 miles, we wrapped up day five and arrived to Crazy James Point. After a long day of paddling, we set up our campsite, made a fire, and cooked up a delicious meal. Dinner is served. Beans. You know, it's a nice visual. Yeah. And just the, the sound of the... Coming from bazillions of them, like just the skin it makes my skin cold. Yeah. Thinking about it, you know. Oh man, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm excited or if I'm frightened. <laughs>